up everybody this is Brooklyn Prepper how you guys doing out there I just want to make this a uh, little video short little video um, maybe not too short I don't know how long it's gonna take me to make a video usually I, I make long videos you know I, I gabber and everything but anyway I'm making this little video to touch base with everybody yeah I've been quite busy I'm trying to get some videos out I got a lot of little projects in the mix right now and I'm just trying to get them pull them all together you know then life gets in the way and I got work and family and everything and it's after the holidays and blah 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 but anyway uh I've been doing this little project I've been making these boxes which I call pin boxes I think it's a good catchy name p-i-n pin boxes people in need right so um what I did I put together this box right there you go it's the pin box right uh, what I made these for basically is, uh, especially you guys out there, see, let me give you another look at it. It's small, it's in a little Tupperware and everything. Um, the amount of money that I, it cost me to put these little boxes together, it, 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 it's little. If, if I was a guest, maybe, I'm going high, maybe 10 bucks. I'm going high, maybe $10, I think. Probably even cheaper because a lot of stuff, it's my dehydrated stuff and things I buy in bulk. But anyway, the reason why I'm making these things, because it's, it's a good idea, you could use these things in a couple of ways, right? If there's a, a, like even a small event, like Sandy, I'm not saying Sandy was a small event, right? It was a, a, a big event, right? Where these boxes could come in handy. You could give them to people that don't have power, right? They could be comfortable in their own houses for a little while. It's not, this box is not going to last you months or anything, but it's going to last you a few days and everything until you get over a little bit of a hump. Right? And you also could give these boxes out, uh, like John, maybe a, a, maybe a, a real bad event where you see people coming down the road and you see they're tired, they're trying to get to their, their maybe a bug out location or they're trying to get to a friend or family's house, right? And you, you could offer them one of these boxes just to make your trip a little bit easier. You know, so like I said, we all have to stick together. We're preppers and we got to watch each other's backs. Never mind all that nonsense out there with the phony signs and you know to be prepared for apocalypse zombies are coming out all over the place like i said in my last video i'm not gonna go through it all over again i'll start getting mad again and raging but anyway what i've been doing with some of my spare time is making these boxes up right and i want to show you what i put inside i mean it's a good little idea it's not you could even use them right not necessarily for disaster you could give these things as gifts you know, maybe somebody's birthday or somebody who's not into prepping yet or, or Christmas time or holiday time. You can hand them one of these boxes and you can show them what's in it and you can maybe get people's minds going. You know, right? You know, this little box could keep me over a couple of days or something happens. And maybe their gears will start moving and they maybe start doing things on their own and making a bigger box and a bigger box. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You're just planting the seed, right? It's a nice little gift. Right, if you want, maybe you could gift wrap it, put a bow on it. You don't got to do that. But but you, you can help people out. That's the main point of this video. It's like we have to really concentrate on cleaning this whole prep environment up and showing people that we're good people and we're there to help, you know, not to, uh, to destroy and deceive people, right? And like the word if, you know, I know somebody made a, made a video on the word if for some reason. And mention my name but the way I use if if I see somebody who needs help and if they don't have any supplies I could give it to them that's if I want to be a decent human being but anyway that's enough with the if all right but there you go it's a little pin boxes let me uh bring you in close and I'll show you what I put in there it's just basic stuff that this can help somebody for a couple of days to get to where they gotta go Let's go! What the hell is... What? It's a pin box. Uh, it's a pin box. It's a pin box. Pin box. Alright guys, let me show you what I got in the box. What I do, I put some paracord on the box so I could tie the cover down nice and snug. Okay. Uh, okay, let's start off with the tea lights. I put in a couple of tea lights in there. One, two, or six tea lights. Those are, they always come in handy, you know that. All right, I put uh, got some aspirins, some band-aids, some alcohol swabs, some cough drops, and a nice little pack. It's a nice little thing to have, you know, to give somebody. All right, let me show you what these are, right? These things I made up over here, 
right? I got these right here, these green ones, if you can see them, the, the green packs. And I got these brown packs, right? What I did, why I put these in here, and I, and the one, I never made a video about it, and I, I know I should go into more depth about it. But these things here, the, the green ones and the brown ones, right, is uh, this stuff I use, to, uh, it's isogenics, it's called. And this is the green stuff. And what this stuff does, it, if you're not getting the proper diet, right, and if you're not getting the proper nutrients and everything, you drink one of these shakes, even every, if you, for survival, every few days, you drink one of these shakes, if you mix one of these up in uh, eight ounces of water, this gives you a ton of nutri the nutritional value. It's in here. It's like you, you're getting like a full course meal in one little drink. And the same thing with the greens. You're getting all that, the beautiful uh, um, uh, vitamins and minerals from the green powder. And that's, you just add that into like an eight ounce glass of water. You mix it up, you drink it down, and you get this burst of uh, nutrients, right? So this is, I, I got this stuff in my prep boxes because you, because you really, if you're going to be eating a lot of this type of stuff, it's good stuff. I got vegetables in here, and I got rice and uh, lentils and everything. All you got to do is put some boil, uh, boil it in water, and you got a nice big meal, right? But this stuff is good. Isogenics is great stuff. If you're trying to survive and you're not going to eat eating properly, you drink one of these shakes, you're getting a lot, a lot of your nutrients right from this one little shake. And the same thing with the green stuff. I'll do a video if anybody's interested in uh, the isogenics, you want to know more about it, just give me a PM and I could uh, hook you up with the guy that I get it from, right? But uh, eventually I'll do a video and I'll show you how I put it into my boxes, right? So anyway, those are the isogenics, right? Nice little uh, power shake drinks and, uh, and uh, a, a, a vegetable drink. It's great to supplement and you get those minerals, minerals and all that nutrition into you. It's it's good to keep you going, all right? So I put a bunch of those in there, all right, which is cheap. I just put one. Each one makes a drink, right? And I got those in there. All right, now I got some of my little, uh, my little survival pack meals. It's rice, lentils, and uh, dehydrated vegetables. You boil it. In, you, you just got you to boil this in water, and you get a nice meal, a nice little, uh, it all comes back to life. You get a nice amount from this one little pack. So I put a bunch of those in there. I got six of them. I think six of them? Yes, yeah, six of them. All right? I got some oatmeal in there. These are really easy. To, you just got to heat up a little bit of water. And you just put the oatmeal and boom, you got you can fill your stomach up. All right? And there you go. And I put uh, about six of these in there. All right? Ba -ba Boom. It's simple. Just to help somebody out to get to where they're going. This could this one little box could be the mean of life and death to somebody. Right? Or, you know, not having such a tough time. Okay, what else I added was the alcohol stove, the one that uh, Yankee Prepper showed me how to make. And I'm making up a bunch of these, and these are going to go in the box. They're free. You make them out of soda cans. Right? A little uh, thing of alcohol for the stove. I got the stand that I put in there. Right? I got that in there. Uh, I got about, uh, I say it's about maybe 10 feet of power cord. Right, just in case, you know, they're on the road, they need to tie something up, their shoelace breaks, whatever. They got power cord. Right, there was a nice little thing to put in there. Uh, I put in uh, paper towels. You could use this to, uh, you know, clean your hands or clean your stuff off or, you know, or clean your cat eye if you had to go to the bathroom. All right, you got that. I put in a flashlight. I got these flashlights in Home Depot, right? It was a 12-pack for 9 bucks. So this flashlight's less than a dollar, right? And, and it can help somebody out. So there you go. Nice little flashlight. And, and they came with the batteries, right? They're not the best batteries, but they came with the batteries. And what I put in here, I put a lighter. Actually, I'm going to be putting more. I'm going to be, maybe put maybe uh, two to three lighters. Because I got this place near me. You could pick up these lighters, and you get seven of them for a dollar. Right, so I'm gonna throw maybe some more lighters there, and then I took a regular can. Right, no, I'm not gonna give anybody a pot. I made a little can. I made a little handle for it out of a hanger. Right, you gotta squeeze this together. It closes. You open it up. It stays open. You squeeze it. And you make it out of a hanger. And now they could cook all this food with some water. And of course, I put some water bottles in there. Right, to get them started. But uh. What's good about having the water bottles when you once you finish the water bottles and you come across places where you could get some more water, you save the empty bottles, you could refill them, 
right? What I don't have in here yet, what I'm going to be putting in here is, uh, is instructions. How to light the stove, how to use the alcohol stove, how to cook the food, uh, little hints on saving the bottles, little hints with the power cord. I'm going to make a nice little uh, a pamphlet to put in there that shows them how to use all this stuff. Especially if you get somebody who don't know how to use any of this, but little step-by-step -step instructions. How to get this all going and, and how to use it and how to, how to get the most of it on their journey. Especially if they don't have no supplies. All right, guys. So, like I said, simple. And you know what? I said ten bucks. I don't even think I put ten bucks bucks worth of stuff in here, right? But uh, there you go. So my mindset right now is like, you know, you know, I I prep for my family. I'm I'm pretty much set, and it, it's just a nice thing. I make a bunch of these up. You know, I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to make, but I'm gonna make a bunch of them. Hey, the Tupperware. That's right. The tup this Tupperware that it came in. I got four of them. For what I pay for them for four ninety five. It came with four Tupperware. So right there, these things are even less than a like like a buck, you know, each. But you don't have to have much. You could do anything you want. If you feel like you know something better, you could put in there for people to survive with. Right? If you have any ideas, leave me a comment. But my mindset is that we we got to start looking to help people. You know, especially people on need. We can't turn our backs towards them. Right, we you got if we could if I could take a little time and a little bit of money to to make a couple of boxes like this and give it to one person. My if one person needs it uh, in my whole life, you know I feel great. You know I've done my job, right? But I'm gonna make a bunch of these up, and and that's what we got to do. We just gotta gear our minds more towards helping people, teaching people to be positive when things go bad. Because if we're teaching people to be negative when things go bad. They're going to act negative. Let's just teach everybody to be positive. All right, guys. So that's what I got for you. And I'll see you soon. I got a couple videos coming up uh, with this backpack, this portable camp thing I made. And uh, as soon as I get that going, I'll get it out to you. So God bless everybody. Live for today. Prep for tomorrow. And help people. Help them. Take care, guys. Bye.